Close your eyes and watch your breath. When the breath comes in, know it's coming in. When it goes out, know when it's going out. Know where you feel it as it comes in and as it goes out. Let your attention settle right there. That's all you have to be aware of right now. You will be aware of other things, but you don't have to let your mind go running out after them. The sound of the birds, the fact that other people are sitting around you, whatever. Just let it go. Let it go. Just stay with the sensation of the breath right here, trying to get the mind under control. Because this is the most important thing in your life. And if your mind is out of control, who knows what it's going to do, what it's going to cause you to say or think. It's the big danger in life, the fact that you can't really trust your mind if you don't have it under control. We talk about the dangers outside. Well, the terrorists are inside here. Greed, aversion, and delusion. And they can very easily take over any state of mind, unless you're really vigilant, unless you're really alert. So this is what we're trying to develop here, some alertness right here in the present moment. And the first thing you'll see, in addition to the breath, of course, is the other things that come barging in. But you don't have to pay them any attention. You don't deny that they're there, it's just you don't get involved. This way you begin to shape your space here in the present moment, your sense of what, what you've got right here, what's really important, what you want to protect. You want to protect the goodness of the mind, basically, it's the clarity of the mind. Because when the mind is clear, it's much less likely to be overcome by unskillful thoughts, greedy thoughts, angry thoughts, unreasonable thoughts. You're right here. You can see these things coming in. You can get a sense of who's reliable and who's not. And from here, you could, and it spreads out to affect other people. How so? Okay, the, the things you do, like the precepts we had just now. You decide not to kill, not to steal, not to have illicit sex, not to lie, not to take intoxicants. That has an impact on other people as well. It has an impact on your mind. You benefit from it, and other people benefit too. It's the same as when we do the Brahma Viharas. That's that chant that, that every day. May all beings be happy. Why do you do that? Because you realize that if you can't trust your motivation when you're dealing with other people, who knows what you're going to end up doing and saying. But you always have to think, everybody that you're dealing with is someone who wants happiness. And you would be happy to see them find true happiness. Of course, you're not going to be able to give them true happiness. That's something that they have to find for themselves through their own actions. But you can be helpful. You don't want to get in the way of their quest for true happiness. And if there are times when you can help, okay, you'd be happy to help. Because if your happiness depends on their misery, okay, it's not going to last. So you benefit from thoughts of goodwill, just as other people benefit from them as well. There are no clear lines here. Once the mind is trained, you benefit, the people around you benefit. The world around you starts to change. Why is that? Because you're doing different things in the world. And that's going to have an impact on other people's behavior. You're seeing things differently. That's going to have an impact on how you see everything around you. So this is why training the mind is the most important thing that we have to do as human beings. Otherwise, we can have all kinds of good things around us, but if the mind isn't trained, it can create trouble, it can create misery for itself and for other people too. So do your best to look after the mind. If the mind is going to go someplace to think about something, okay, when it, let, let it happen only with your permission, with your conscious permission. Yet this is someplace I want to go and it's going to accomplish something good. Otherwise, you just stay right here, because when you stay right here, it gives strength to the mind, a sense of being settled in, you're not running around all the place, and it also gives clarity. These are the things that you need in order to protect yourself, your own inner strength, your own clarity. Once you can protect yourself, and particularly protect yourself from your own unskillful thoughts, that's the most important protection you need.